SQL versus NoSQL. When deciding on a database to purchase, application developers must take into account a number of variables. There are a variety of commercial databases accessible, each with a unique value proposition for the consumer. They're classified into two categories, SQL, Relational Database, and NoSQL, Non-Relational Database. We will look at the components of each and see how they might help developers. What is SQL Database? The Structured Query Language, SQL, often known as SQL or SQL, is industry standard for working with relational databases. Structured Query Language, SQL, is a domain-specific computer language used to query and manipulate data in a relational database, and SQL databases support it. The core to a relational data model is to abstract data as a set of tuples grouped into relations, which allows for abstraction over actual data representation and access paths. SQL programming may be used to successfully insert, search, update, and remove database records. It is capable of a wide range of tasks, including, but not limited to, database optimization and maintenance. SQL is a programming language that is used in relational databases such as MySQL Database, Oracle, MS SQL Server, Synbase, and others. What is NoSQL? A database that is not SQL is referred to as not only SQL or not SQL. NoSQL is a non-relational database management system, DMS, that does not require a set structure, eliminates joins, and is simple to grow. NoSQL databases are utilized in distributed data repositories with massive storage requirements. Big data and real-time web apps make advantage of NoSQL. Companies such as Twitter, Facebook, and Google, for example, gather terabytes TB, of user data on a daily basis. Advantages and Disadvantages of SQL SQL offers several advantages, which makes it popular and in great demand. Here are some of the advantages of SQL. Advantages Faster query processing A large volume of data is rapidly and efficiently obtained. Insertion, deletion, and data modification are also performed in near real time. No coding knowledge a significant number of lines of code are necessary for data retrieval. SQL uses all of the fundamental terms such as select, insert into, update, and so on. And the syntactical rules are not complicated, making it a user-friendly language. Standardized language. As a result of extensive documentation and years of operation, it provides a consistent platform for all of its users globally. Disadvantages SQL. Although SQL offers numerous advantages, it does have a few disadvantages. The following are some of SQL's disadvantages. Complex Interface SQL has a complex interface that causes some users to feel uneasy when working with the database. Cost Because certain versions are expensive, programmers are unable to access them. Partial Control Due to hidden business rules, the database does not have total control. Advantages and Disadvantages of NoSQL NoSQL databases have several advantages and disadvantages over relational databases. Advantages Flexible data models The schemas of NoSQL databases are generally highly flexible. A flexible schema enables you to simply modify your database as your needs evolve. Horizontal scaling when you surpass the capacity constraints of your existing server, most SQL databases need you to scale up vertically, move to a larger, more expensive server. Disadvantages Difficult migration The NoSQL market is constantly growing. However, because each database has its own data architecture and query language, the lack of standardization is hindering development. This makes conversion to a NoSQL database difficult and impedes unity and maturity. No standardized delivery. Because there are so many distinct types of NoSQL databases accessible, 
there is no standard for reporting performance statistics. Each database has a unique data model, making uniform reporting challenging to create and execute. SQL versus NoSQL SQL is the most appropriate relational database to employ, especially when the relationship between data sets is well defined and easily accessible. It is also the best method for determining data integrity. SQL allows for high-level ad hoc queries if you need flexible data access, and SQL databases are usually vertically scalable, i.e., increase a single server workload by increasing RAM, CPU, SSD, etc. For large amounts of data or constantly changing data sets, NoSQL is the best database to use. It's also beneficial if you have flexible data models or needs that don't fit into the relational paradigm. If you need to work with large amounts of unstructured data, document databases such as CouchDB, MongoDB, and Amazon DocumentDB are a good choice. Horizontal scalability is a fundamental principle of many NoSQL data storage. In contrast to SQL, their built-in resources and high availability requirements facilitate horizontal scaling, i.e. scaling out. Conclusion Most database specialists are responsible for selecting or recommending a database, and SQL versus NoSQL is a valuable factor for making informed decisions. When evaluating any database, it is vital to evaluate key data requirements as well as any acceptable compromises that are beneficial for reaching performance and uptime goals.